Hi guys, I'm in Bahrain. I'm here to meet Project 8 and they're going to show us some watches. Hi guys, welcome back to Shah Horology. Very kindly, Project 8 have uh, accepted uh, uh, my invitation and they're going to show me some amazing pieces. Uh, we're going to have a look at two brands today, HYT and MB and F, and I'm sure you are aware with them. Let's take it from here. So we are we're looking at the H0 Silver. It took, it took them about 10 years of research program uh, to get one thing right, that is the fluidic uh, mechanism. Uh, so, yeah. uh, HYT uh, is divided between two things. Uh, you've got uh, you've got a very uh, old art craft of uh, horology on the back, and you've got uh, you've got the fluidic mechanism. Okay. Uh, so you've got uh, the hours that is fluid, and yeah. you've got the mechanism. So the, these are. Um is it what kind of fluid is it or is that uh, a secret uh, that, that's a that's a secret uh, okay brand. You, you've got two liquids though okay you've got two different oil and they don't mix and, and you've got a colored liquid okay, uh, okay. they are uh, right in the uh, 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 in a correct angle they don't uh, they don't speed up they don't slow down they go according to how the seconds work okay, uh, okay. every microliter has been uh, you know, released out of these Two pistons. Okay. So one will store uh, out here. We have two pistons. One will store the colored liquid. Yeah. The other will store the transparent oil. So uh, it's they balance uh, uh, each time. And, uh, and 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 what happens at six o'clock is yeah. Uh, there's a retrograde flow. So the colored liquid goes back to the left barrel. Okay. Let me yep. expedite the process and yep. take the watch to six. Uh, PM. And we can see the fluid then moving yes. back, right? Yes. Okay. And this is, a, I guess, a, a patented technology which it is, it yeah, is. that nobody has. So I think we'll see the we'll see the liquid flowing back. Okay. Five forty-five, five fifty. Uh, you can see the you can see the fluid. So, so that signifies the half a day has passed by. Twelve hours has gone by. Ah, okay. In a day. Okay, okay. That's that's your hour markers basically. That's the hour right? marker. Yeah. Uh, then the six uh, p.m. will start from this angle. Right. Right. Or six a.m. for that matter. Okay. 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 So, it's amazing technology. And then the, the the two pistons at the bottom, they raise and lower. Uh, now they're doing that, so they're okay. expanding, and one is contracting. Okay, and that's all uh, controlled by the the mechanical side of things. The mechanical side of things. Right. I'll turn the watch, uh, and you can have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. nearly. So it's all the way back, almost. All the way back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is the back case, uh, it's a yep. manual wind. Uh, yep. Beautiful finishing. Yeah, yeah. So there's the there's the pistons at pistons at the bottom and you've got all the gears above which in turn provide the energy for the pistons to work, correct? Yes, yes it does. Yep. It's amazing. And this, which is this particular model, which which one is this one? Uh, H10. Okay, okay. And th is this is this like a normal production or is it a special edition? Uh, so well, we've got uh, this is a, a, an open production. Yep. Uh, so we've got in H0, we've got uh, this one as an open production. Yep. But uh, we've got a limited series, uh, 25 pieces each. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Uh, it was just received recently. 
So this is the what they call the. So I know it's, they're not standard in any sense, but yeah. this is what you'd call like the standard model. A right? standard model, yes. Right. Yes, you. Right. Let me light them up and show you. Yeah. Uh, the luminous effect of the watch. Yep. Right. Go. Okay. I see. So the the fluid, the the fluid is also luminous, right? Uh, so the, uh, the, this fluid is not. But then uh, you've got the uh, the capillary, and underneath the capillary, uh, the luminous is right. The so luminance is behind the. Behind the. Uh, but it gives the effect as if the as the if fluid yes, is yes, actually. Fluid is lit. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Amazing. Okay. So this is this is the the what as we said the standard one and this is also the same same thing but in a a different size uh, specification different color, yes. different color. Yes. and this one is is uh, because it's skeletonized right skeletonized this is H one zero yeah and uh, the polishing is much uh, much better than the standard H zero okay. models brilliant. Yeah, Project 8, of course, is in Moda Mall in Bahrain. So if you happen to be in Saudi or in Bahrain, uh, these guys are amazing. They're most welcoming. Uh, I don't think you'll find a, a better place to buy these brands. So we, we'll take a look at the, the next brand now. And we're going to get, uh, get a look at uh, MBNF. Of course, I'm sure all of you are aware of uh, MBNF. So what models are we looking at today? Uh, uh, HMX Black Badger. And uh -huh. HM5. Okay. Uh, HM5. Yep. So the HM5 is basically uh, 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 was inspired from uh, a 70s uh, supercar yep. uh, called Lamborghini Mura. Yep. Yep. And uh, the back is as beautiful as uh, as uh, as the Mura gets. Yep. Uh, you've got the materials uh, uh, that's uh, used for the first time in MBNF. Yep. Called carbon um, macaron. Uh, it's light. Yep. It's stronger than steel. Yep. And you've got uh, titanium. Yep. Uh, plus the router is the Battle X. Uh, it's uh, from the cartoon that uh, Max uh, used to watch uh, and used enjoy. Used to watch as his child and enjoy. Yep. So he's taken he's taken inspiration from there. Yep. And you can see the router. This is a limited of uh, sixty six pieces. Yep. That amazing, amazing router, amazing, amazing piece, amazing piece of tech. Really, they're not time pieces, are they? They're, they're like uh, specialist machines, aren't they? they MB and F. Yeah. You know, they don't do anything. They don't do anything by halves. So these grills at the back are copied as they are in the Lamborghini. It is. And uh, what function do they serve? Uh, the sun rays can't directly fall on on the okay. numerals. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's because the numerals is uh, is on uh, the other uh, side. Hidden. Yep. Is hidden away uh, just for the wearer's wrist. Yep. Uh, so the sun rays uh, needs to go through these uh, panels. Flap. Ah, okay. And okay. then they charge up uh, the, uh, the the numbers. Loom. Right. And they charge up the luminous. And yep. uh, uh, you can read it at night. Right. Right. So that's the reason for having these. Yeah. As well as the as the design. Start side of it, they have a practical function. They, they do, they do. Wow, well, it's just the two that open, correct? Uh, the other two that opens. Um, okay. And you've got a uh, little exhaust uh, on the back. Every little detail is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well it's covered out. from the as it would have been in the car. Uh, yes, absolutely. Right, right. And it just the crown pulls out and adjusts as it would in. Uh, it will adjust the time. Um, yeah. The hours yeah. and minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Truly an amazing piece of art. Okay. And next? Uh, next is uh, uh, HM. Yeah. X uh, Black Badger. Yeah. Uh, Black Badger is uh, the skeletonized version, and I may say. Yeah. And plus, uh, you've got you've got the uh, two luminous. Uh, 
uh, modules on top. Yeah. Uh, that is inspired fr uh, from the friend of Max uh, called Black Badger. Okay. Uh, he is uh, uh, well known for the luminous uh, uh, materials in the industry. Okay. Okay. And uh, they really light up. Sorry. Uh, we're out of. UV. Out of juice. Yeah, we're out of UV light. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, it's the same technique. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a limited of 18 pieces. Wow! And it's like a full rotor at the back. Full rotor at the back. Yeah. yeah. Amazing piece of machinery. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Some unbelievably beautiful and technologically advanced uh, pieces shown to me by Project Eight in Moda Mall in Bahrain. I would like to thank them very much and uh, guys thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one take care bye bye